Alright, to begin making our sketchbook with the stitching down the spine, you're going to stack up your paper and your thin cardboard. You're going to make sure they're very, very straight. And you're going to grab a ruler. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the length of the cardboard and we're going to cut it in half. But make sure your ruler starts at zero here and not the end of the ruler here. So you want to start where the zero is. So you'll line up the zero with the edge of your cardboard and then measure it. It should be 11 and we're going to mark it at the halfway point which is five and a half. So you're going to put a little mark there and then you're going to do the same exact thing to the bottom. So it's 11 inches and you're going to mark where the halfway point is which is five and a half. You're going to put your pencil on your first mark and line up your ruler to the second mark to draw a straight line. Alright so next we're going to add the clips to the side of our sketchbook so make sure your papers are lined up completely straight and you're going to add four clips to the top and the bottom of each side of your sketchbook make sure it's clipped onto the cardboard and all the way to the back next you're going to make sure your sketchbook is on top of a thicker piece of cardboard like this we're going to get a tack and we're going to poke three holes into our sketchbook one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. Notice how when I poke it through, I'm wiggling it around to make the hole a little bit bigger. That's so that we can get the needle in and out of the hole without any difficulties. Alright, next we're going to take our needle, which should be threaded for you, and we're going to start our weaving. So, weaving is just in and out, in and out, and we're going to start from the back where the cardboard is, and we're going to stick our needle through and pull our string all the way through until you get a little tiny tail. When you have a little tiny tail, I'm going to take a piece of tape and we'll tape it long ways this way so that it doesn't slide around or move around while we're stitching. So once your needle has been pulled all the way through, you're going to go from the inside back to the outside. You'll be able to see your hole. So you're going to put your needle in that way and pull it out that way. So pull it all the way through, pull it, pull it, pull it, and it will stop because it's being held on by the tape. So now that you went up, we're going to go back down through the top of the cardboard, just like that, and pull it through, and pull it, pull it, pull it until it's tight. So now you're going to go back up through the inside, through the middle, because we just went in. Now we're going to go back out, going to push it right through, and pull it until it's tight, just like that. And then you're going to start the same process over again by going in through the back of the cardboard, pull it tight. and then back out through the inside where the middle hole is. I'm gonna pull that tight and then go back up through the bottom. The process of weaving is super simple. It's just over, under, over, under. We're doing the weaving process on a book. So you're just doing the over, under, over, under. 
but it's just three holes, so it should be pretty easy, and you should get the hang of it pretty soon. Getting the needle through the holes once they've got string in them is a little bit difficult, but you got it. Once you're done weaving and you don't have enough string left, you can kind of cut off another little tail and tape that part down. If it happens to be taped on top of your other tail, that's fine. If it ends at another spot of the binding, that's fine too. Then you're going to fold your book very carefully in half as best as you can. The cardboard will want to bend naturally in half because it's already got the weight from the string there. So it should be pretty easy. You can take off the clips that were holding the papers together. And voila. You might want to grab a pair of scissors to score the edge. You can use the side of your scissors to really push down that crease. That's called scoring. So you can score the edge of your book with the scissors and you are done. You have just made your own book.